Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I'm Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss an evergreen gold topic like Excel. This next topic is SQL. So it's also going to be an evergreen gold I can say. So whatever you are, if you are into data field, then you need to be aware of SQL here. So as a quick topic on this particular series, I just want to cover all these two things. One is uh, creating a SQL view and stored procedure. These two are the critical things which you need to aware while you're working into these kind of projects. So I'm into my SQL fabric database here. As you can see, we have a table, view, stored process, everything the same way. So if you want to create a new script, then you can just click on the new query on the top. It's going to create a new query for you. And then you can do stuff, whatever you want to do here. But as I already added this thing here, you can just click on this part and then click on script to drop, create or select 100 rows, script as create. That's what I need here. So it has added here all these things here, which is nothing but the default stuff. But we need to focus main things here, create view, which is the DBO, the schema name and the table name as select machine ID, count of machine ID as transaction count from CMMS logs group by machine ID. So this is basically one particular view which I created here. It is actually giving me the list of available machines and the transactions count for those machines here. For cutting machine, I have 96 here. For cutting machine 01, I have 25. For heat setting machine, I have one here. So the cutting machine is actually repeating up here because some of the data quality issue, as you can see, it is showing up here some arrows and there is a one space in the front. So there's an issue with the data here so that we can check it on later state. But the main purpose of this video is looking into creating a SQL view here. So there are a lot of things where you can create on the SQL view. I made a separate playlist as well, how you can work on the SQL things. I request you to go and check out that series as well. But before do that, if you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just click on the subscribe button and also press the share, like and notification button so that it can also help others. And also you will get notification for these things. And it's sad to say that 92% of my viewers are not my subscribers. I request you to subscribe to my channel here. So this is how you can create a SQL view. That's a quick short video. And let's focus on one more thing which I really recommended here. Yeah, in 125, it's actually blurring the things. Let me quickly open up here the stored procedure and then what I created here, script as create. Let's hide this one. Okay, so we'll remove this other stuff. All right, an interesting topic for me. I created many stored procedures in my whole life. It's going to be interesting for me. Because that has to do the calculations on all those things that I really love to do that. All right. So creating a stored procedure, schema name, and then you can specify the names here. I just given up here, sp underscore cmms underscore logs underscore crud. So here I'm using up here operations, which is a nvarkar 10. We want to specify whether you want to create, update, or delete. Even though I given here as a crud, which is create, read, update, delete. I'm not using a read here. I'm just using create, update, and delete here. And we need to pass a primary key. That's a mandatory thing in Fabric SQL if you want to do this kind of stuff here. And the machine ID, fault ID, start time, end time, repair cost, and technician. These are the default stuff which is available for the table. And here we need to begin here. Set no count is on. That's fine. If operation is equal to create, you need to do this stuff. Begin and end. Else, if the operation is equal to update, begin and do this stuff. And then click on else, end. And if it is a delete, then do this kind of stuff. Else, it has to be print invalid operation. Use create update as a message to this end user here. Invalid operation, use create, update or delete in this manner. All right. So what we're actually doing up here, if it is in create one, so we are using up here as an insert SQL query. So insert into this particular table, dbo.cmms logs, and then I'm specifying these column names and also the passing of the values from this particular parameter variable, which I'm declaring it while creating this stored procedure here. So this is overall or actually we need to pass in the power automate flow, which we'll do it in future videos. Okay. So machine ID fault ID get date is basically going to return the now latest time and seconds and end time repair cost and technician here, all these things. So if you want to pass some value, we can pass or else we can also null value here. That's good. So by default, that's what I mentioned here. If the user pass any value, then this is going to be pass the value. If it is not, then it will show up here. Null, null, null values here. All right, so print record successfully, it will give you the record here. The same thing you can also use on your applications as well. Right now, I'm just using up here in Power BI and Power Automate. That's fine. 
but you can also use the same thing that's the beauty of creating a stored procedure in sql server and now when it comes to operation as an update so updating this table i'm updating here fault id end time repair and technician with the help of this primary id this is what we are going to do it in power bi using power automate so i'm passing up all these values here if it is done and if there is a record available yeah no record found update on this primary key if the row count for this particular thing if it is there then it will show you here records updated here similar to that delete here is a simple thing delete from this particular log and this will going to give you the data here delete from this particular table which is showing up here in my whole experience i recommend you not to use this kind of stuff because you can just use the update itself even for delete just add an additional column and change this to zero and one kind of thing if it is an active one then give it to be zero if it is an inactive like delete at one you can change this to one here because it will help you in future for transaction and audit purpose so you just need to use that itself but as an example here i'm just using up here delete directly so you can directly use that as well so this is how you can able to create the fabric sql stored procedures and view which is a regular sql stored procedure itself yeah that is for this video and uh, if you want to know much more in detail about how you need to create all these stuffs in further in broader manner uh, you can just check out my playlist of fabric sql or the regular sql itself it's going to be applicable the same logic here thanks for watching till this end if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video